I'll call this meeting to order, and our first uh, action is a presentation of a plaque to Commissioner Smith. Thank you, Madam Chair, members of the Commission, and the audience. The, uh, this item uh, is because the council member, Angela Valles, uh, chose not to run for the City Council anymore, and her planning commissioner is Matt Smith. And therefore, unless he is picked up by another council member or the new council member, um, he will no longer be on the commission. So we'd like to uh, <coughs> give them a plaque to let them know that we as planning staff appreciate there and the rest of the planning commissioners, I'm sure, appreciate uh, their service to the community and uh, all of the effort and time that they put into reviewing the agendas, driving by these sites and everything that they do and, and recommending what is best for the city of Victorville. So what? we have a plaque made for them at the end of their time, and I would like to present that to Matt Smith. Okay, okay. Yes, Madam Chair. Chair Porter. Commissioner Wilson. Here. Commissioner Huber. Here. Commissioner Smith. Here. Commissioner Kurth. Here. Thank you. The next uh, order of business is the invocation and pledge of allegiance led by Commissioner Kurth and Commissioner Huber. Please rise. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to meet tonight. Please bless this meeting so that the decisions that are made are in the best interest of this city and its citizens. Amen. Approval of minutes of October the 8th. I'll go ahead and make a motion to approve the minutes of October 8th. I'll second the motion. That has been approved. Next two items are public hearings. If you wish to speak on either one of these public hearings, please fill out a, a white card that's located out in the front and give it to the secretary. So the first item is a public hearing. Thank you, Madam Chair. Alex Haudegui will present that item. Thank you, Mr. Borchardt. Members of the Commission, uh, agenda item number one is planning case number PLN 14-00025, a site planning conditional use permit with an environmental exemption to allow for the development of a wireless communications facility at the city maintenance yard on Palmdale Road. Uh, the proposal includes a 55-foot tall uh, slim line pole with canister and equipment shelter a diesel and, a, and a diesel generator located at the southwest portion of the maintenance yard. Uh, this is similar to previous approvals by the Commission. Um, the applicant has also worked with staff to come up with a design that matches previous appro approvals and staff finds due to its location approximately 320 feet from the right of way and the surrounding uh, power lines uh, that is compatible with its surrounding. Um, it meets all requirements of Title 16 excepting for 
uh, paved parking, although as noted in the staff report, staff supports the all weather surface as proposed. Uh, staff uh, as conditions, staff supports the proposal, including the additions to the conditions as noted in the late memorandum. I'll declare the public hearing open and call for Barbara Saito. Oh, Salto. Saito. Saito. Okay. My name is Barbara Saito, uh, 418 Cloverdale Lane, Walnut, California. Um, I am the applicant representing uh, Verizon, and I just wanted to answer any questions you might have. Okay, other than that, I, I accept the conditions in the, as are written with the amendment, and thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Is there any further testimony? I'll declare the public hearing closed for the pleasure of the council of the planning commission. I'm sure I'll go ahead and move to find the project categorically categorically exempt per CEQA section 15303, new construction or conversion of small structures, and adopt resolution number P-14-061, approving the conditional use. Uh, permit portion of case number PLN 14-00025 uh, and adopt resolution number P-14-062 appro approving the site plan portion of case number PLN 14 as well as the amendment to uh, condition number 13 of re resolution P-14-061 and condition number 15 of resolution P-14-062. And I'll go ahead and second that. That has been approved. Agenda item number two, another public hearing. Staff uh, like to. Yes, Madam Chair. Commissioner's agenda item number two is ADM 14080. It's a minor conditional use permit to allow for a church with an environmental exemption located at 15065 Palmdale Road. Um, as you can see from the report, the church has been, been in operation for some time without complaints, but does not have enough parking on the site. They utilize adjacent businesses parking lots um, during off hours and this has worked for years as well if the planning commission can make the findings contained within the resolution uh, staff recommends approval and i will declare the public hearing open and ask if anyone wishes to speak on this matter There being no response, I'll close the public hearing. Madam Chair, I'll go ahead and make a uh, resolution to find the project categorically exempt under Section 15301 of the State Guidelines to implement the California Meyer Environmental Quality Act and uh, adopt Resolution P-14-066, approving minor conditional use permit number ADM 14-00080, uh, subject to all of the attached conditions found in the staff report. Have a second. I'll second. That has been unanimously approved. Public comments. In compliance with the Brown Act, it is necessary for the Planning Commission to make available time for members of the public to address the Planning Commission on items of interest that fall within the Planning Commission's subject matter jurisdiction. Please limit your time. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like to speak? <laughs> 
New business, agenda item number three. This is to have a workshop on uh, December the 10th. And I don't, this is the regular commission meeting, so I'm not, Tessa, do you know what Scott was thinking in terms of the workshop? I mean, we could just do this as a, could we not do this as a new business item or? <laughs> Or is yeah. he thinking to have a separate workshop in the other? I think he was, uh, what I understand, you know, I was absent when that whole discussion and when it got added to the agenda. My my notes, I'll say, to to determine a December workshop, a date to be determined, not necessarily to be done on December 10th. So. But he's asking to move to conduct a public workshop at the December 10th meeting, so. Oh, I see. I don't have that. Whether note. we call it a workshop and have it in that room, or whether we have it as a new business item, or uh, you know, I, I how long it's going to take? I don't. Don't. I'm sorry. They contacted Scott about setting this up, and he's on vacation this week. But uh, why don't we set it up? We'll send you the the information based on the time, and, and yes, and put it at four o'clock in the. Um, yeah. Why don't we do that? And if we need to modify it, we'll uh, we'll let you know. Or if there's not, if there's not, um, you know, many items on the next meeting, the three items. No, uh, three and a, and yes, yeah, so just a communication. I mean, it really, there might be four. There might possibly be four. There's one hanging. Not knowing what kind of presentation they're, they're going to give us, would it be better to just add that at the end of our? Yeah, meeting so if yeah. we if he, to you. if he took 20 minutes and we said you got two more minutes we got to get you know that's true I, I'll go either way I just don't want to rush the them if it's got the something last item on the agenda and, and we're not gonna be in any big rush so that, that's why don't perfectly we just fine that sounds like a good idea for the record I will not be here next meeting okay I know where you're going <laughs> <laughs> Presentation and reports by commission members. I'll go ahead and just um, just say thank you to everybody. Thanks to staff and thanks to my fellow commissioners. Uh, I came in like three, four years ago and uh, had, had very little idea of how a city was run. And in the last four years, I've gotten quite an education. I feel, I was saying earlier, to some degree that I've uh, kind of learned another language. I mean. The way city works, it's definitely its own language, and you kind of have to get familiar with that. And um, I feel like I have. So um, if this is my last meeting. It was, it was an absolute pleasure working with everybody. If it works out that the uh, newly elected city council member needs a planning commissioner, I'd be, uh, I'd be happy to, to keep the role I've been uh, working in the last few years. This is kind of a good segue anyways for me because this is uh, basketball season, so I was going to miss probably the next three meetings anyway, which I've been consistent in. Uh, but either way, it was a it was a pleasure working with everybody, and, and just uh, thank you guys for helping me out throughout the, uh, especially the early years. It's been a pleasure working with you too. Uh, Great having you here, and I hope this isn't your last meeting. So. I kind of hope not too. <laughs> so with that, we are adjourned. What what was yours? Huh. Five minutes? I ran a lot. Oh, twelve about twelve minutes yeah. then. When you cut off all the pl the plan commissioners so they can't speak. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, easy to run a short meeting. Yeah, I had a forty five minute. Yeah, he had a five minute speech. I had a three minute. Hey, I, I listen. You know. <laughs> listen, I made a I made a bet with Terry Caldwell one time that um, that that we would uh, get through with the council meeting at a certain time, and he said, "But no, he wanted to bet with me." And I said, "No, because all you have to do is, you know, you just start talking." Like, I mean, yeah. you could have stalled all he wanted. Filibuster. Yeah. filibuster. Yeah. <laughs> but, but he <laughs> did. But he and didn't. Done. He didn't. The the assistant city manager got up and read his memo to the. City.